Inc. onboarding webinar. My name is Karen Goldner. I'm the Managing Director of Established Business Services for the Women's Business Development Center based in Chicago and serving nine Midwestern states. In the next 45 minutes or so, we'll walk through the WeBank Network and Services, the WBDC and our services, and how we all fit together to help you grow our bus your business. <laughs> Um, I want to just make a couple of housekeeping comments. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to use the little question box um, on the right hand side of your screen and I will get to the uh, answer as soon as I can. In other words, if it's something I'm going to cover later in the presentation, I'll just cover it later. And um, if not, then I'll answer it right away. Um, the second thing is that this is being recorded and it will be available on our website, um, oh, probably tomorrow, uh, and you can review it at your leisure. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Today we're gonna cover three topics from a WeBank National Office perspective, um, the WeBank Overview, the WeBank Network, and WeBank's core or certification opportunities, resources, and engagement platforms. This information coupled with the regional information from our perspective will allow you to see how the entire WeBank network is here to support you. WeBank's mission is to fuel economic growth through access to opportunities by identifying, certifying, and facilitating development of women-owned businesses. WeBank celebrated 20 years in 2017 and is the largest certifier of both WBE and WOSB firms. We'll talk about WOSB in a bit. And in addition, along with its regional partner organizations is the largest women's business development organization. WeBank's core platform in delivering value is through certification, opportunities, resources, and engagement. There are currently over 14,000 certified WBEs, of that, there are also over 2,500 certified WOSBs in the, in the United States. There's 312 national corporate members and 14 regional partners, including the Women's Business Development Center. All WeBank certified WBEs and WOSBs are certified by their regional partner organization or w, um, RPO in their headquartered state. Um, and these are the nine states that we serve at the WBDC, um, many of whom have branch offices where you can get involved based on your company's footprint or desired footprint. So you're certified based on your location of your headquarters, but you may have a branch office somewhere else, maybe in, you know, Phoenix or something. And uh, we can work with you in all of those areas. This map displays those offices for you. And you will see we have regional partner offices in most of the major metropolitan areas in the country. Um, I will say, please excuse the misplacement of Milwaukee and Minneapolis by the people who made this map, who weren't us. Uh, we at the WBDC know where Milwaukee is and know where Minneapolis is. Um, and Minneapolis, in fact, is our second oldest WBDC office celebrating its 15th anniversary this year. Milwaukee, along with Kansas City, have local offices that opened in early 2017, Kansas City. And St. Louis just opened in January of 2018. So we are thrilled to have uh, a good uh, number of offices around our nine states. From a network, we strongly encourage you to get involved with the regional council as there are many opportunities and resources available to you locally. And we will talk about those during the presentation. In the previous slide, the map provided a great visual for where the regional partner organizations are located across the country. And then this provides the information in a listing. So here is the Women's Business Development Center Midwest is what uh, WeBank calls us. Um, and then you can see that there's others just all across, all across the country. When you applied for certification, WeBank Link was simply an application portal, right? Now that you're certified, it is much more. All of the brand guidelines are um, housed on WeBank Link and can be accessed on the left side of your menu bar when you use the WeBank Link system. It contains all of the specs and an array of versions for your use. Uh, actually, and as you may be aware, WeBank is in the process of um, rebranding. And so the latest versions of everything will be in WeBank Link. If you're still using the older um, brand, which is actually what's shown here, the older logo, 
I encourage you to go into WeBank Link and download the new one. The WeBank brand is well respected in the marketplace and displaying the WeBank certified seal or the woman on logo on your website marketing material or packaging can be very beneficial. For those WBEs who have products that are consumer facing, the woman-owned logo is an initiative to enable consumers to identify those products supplied by women-owned businesses during their shopping experience. Across the globe, women-owned businesses supply an incredible range of products uh, sold in retail stores everywhere. WeBank has a dedicated website with an amazing amount of information, and we encourage you to access it, um, and also to let us know if you have a product in the stores or a product that is consumer-facing that you're trying to get into stores. Let me read you the um, website for the woman-owned um, uh, uh, website, which is www.womenownedlogo.com. So W-O-M-E-N-O-W-N-E-D-L-O-G-O.com. The Women Network has a number of corporate members who have campaigns to include products with the women-owned logo. So even if you're not selling directly, uh, we'd encourage you to use that as appropriate for consumer facing items. As we previously discussed, WeBank provides two types of certification. WBE is used primarily in the private sector and WOSB is used in the federal government arena. Many of our WBEs have both certification. As many of you know, you first had to apply for and receive WeBank WBE certification and then the WOSB. WeBank Link 2.0, of course, is a proprietary password protected database where you apply for certification and recertification. And more importantly, it serves as the sourcing directory for corporate members and WBEs. We'll talk about that more in a moment. So now that you're certified, what are you going to do with it? Like any business tool, putting it on your website and forgetting about it is not the best strategy. We have uh, an infographic on our Women's Business Development Center, WBDC website, and you can see the link for it right here. I'm gonna walk through several slides, um, but you'll be able to see this logo or this uh, uh, URL uh, on each of them. So I'd encourage you to either go ahead and copy it down or just go to wbdc.org, and in the certification menu, you can find this, this infographic under leveraging your certification. The infographic itself has live links that will help you. Obviously, on a webinar, those live links don't work. So you just can go into the website and get the, the infographic straight off the website. So step one, first of all, you use WeBank Link to make sure that your profile is complete and accurate. Um, in general, and I'm not necessarily talking about any particular person on the phone, um, so don't feel like I'm saying this to you directly, uh, but many WBEs don't use the business description fields well. So this is basically a search engine optimization play. There are over 1800 WBEs in the WBDC system. And as you heard earlier, there's over 14,000 uh, nationally. So make sure that your business description includes the words that prospective customers will use to search for you. Words like excellent and high quality don't matter. No one searches for excellent widgets, right? They're just searching for widgets. If you're a general contractor, say that and also include the word construction, for instance. So think about how your customers would be looking for the goods and services you sell. What words would they use? And make sure that you use those words in your keywords and your business description. While some people, uh, some corporate people will use the NAICS codes for searching, it's far easier in the system to search by keyword, so make sure, sure that you're helping yourself by using the keywords that customers use to describe your business. The WeBank Insights program is a password protected website with a number of helpful videos and online resources. You must request access for this by emailing insights at wbenc.org. This link is on the web version of our infographic, um, or you can just jot down the email address, which is insights at webank.org. And again, you can see the uh, URL if you're still writing that down for the infographic directly. Next step, create your target list and don't limit yourself to corporations. 
depending on your business, it might make as much or more sense to look at subcontracting opportunities or selling to other WBEs in addition to corporate sales, particularly for newer uh, companies, not necessarily newer WBEs, but newer companies and smaller companies, the subcontracting tier two strategy um, is simply a more viable way to get into the marketplace. I would also encourage you to make an appointment to talk with Cynthia Johnson, our established business advisor. This is available at no charge and the phone number here, uh, you can just call and make an appointment to talk with Cynthia at your convenience. I myself am also available. I should have said that too. Okay, so um, the WBDC does five signature events each year and they're called WBDC Connect and Celebrate, or sometimes we say WBDC Squared. And right here, we have the general timing for them, um, of when, when we have them each month. Uh, in 2018, Minneapolis will be March 1st, St. Louis will be April 24th, and Chicago will be September, um, oops, sorry, my apologies, September uh, 14th. We're still nailing down the dates for Milwaukee and Kansas City, and we'll have those posted on our website as soon as we're able to get those lined up. These events always include a procurement com component where you can meet with corporate representatives as well as networking with other WBEs and corporations and a panel or workshops to help you build your capacity. You want to check out our website, which is wbdc.org slash events for details and registration information. We encourage everyone to come to all of them. Um, certainly you do not need to feel if you're based in Minneapolis, for instance, that you should only come to the Minneapolis event. Um, we have opportunities throughout all of our nine states and really encourage you to, um, to take advantage of all of them. You may have already noticed, hopefully you have, that we send out a WBE blast each month to all certified WBEs. Uh, this is an email that includes our upcoming signature events and also procurement events with corporation. All WBEs from throughout our region are encouraged to participate in all of our events. Once you've gotten your foot in the door, it's time to pitch. So there are resources on insights, which I mentioned earlier to help with this. In addition, the WBDC has online and live events from time to time that can also help you. If you don't have a strong capability statement, you need one. Good capability statements are clear, concise, and fact-based, listing major product projects or ideally major customers. Um, if you have uh, uh, work with a Fortune 100 company and can say their name, say their name. That's an impressive thing for people to, to know about you. In our e-learning library, which you can find on our website, wbdc.org, in the events and training section, we have free online resources to help you write dynamic capability statements, and we encourage you to do that. That's also certainly something that you can talk with either Cynthia or myself about if you want to make an appointment to do so. The WBDC offers a wide variety of services delivered across multiple channels of in-person and online to help you develop relationships and refresh your skills to keep your business growing. I mentioned the e-learning library and our events calendar. If you go to the infographic at the link that has been being shown at the bottom of the slides, um, you can get hot links directly to those sections of our website, or obviously you can go to our website, wbdc.org, and just kind of wander around for a while and see what there is. As I mentioned at the beginning of our webinar, we have offices in five states, um, Illinois, uh, and then we, or Chicago, and then we have offices in Kansas City, Milwaukee, Minneapolis, and St. Louis. For WBE certification and procurement services, please contact us at the Chicago office or at any of these um, services in our major markets. In addition to certification and procurement, the WBDC provides services such as help with business plans, small business lending, and government contracting to Illinois businesses funded by the state of Illinois and other government grants. We provide these services at our downtown location in Chicago and then also at these three satellite locations. If you are not based in Illinois, services such as help with business plans, lending, 
and government contracting assistance are probably available to you through local partners, such as women's business centers and procurement technical assistance centers in your market. And if you have questions about finding them, please feel free to shoot us an email and we can um, help direct you. Back to the WeBank National um, program. We, there's several major uh, WeBank National events that you should be aware of. The first coming up every year is the Summit in Salute, which is a three-day event, and it's always held in March. This year, it will be held in Dallas, March 20th to 22nd, and we'll have approximately 2,000 corporate member, government member, partner organization, and WBE attendees from across the country. So a couple thousand of us will all be there. The summit consists of industry-focused workshop sessions, procurement connection opportunities, which include a matchmaker opportunity, inspiring keynote speakers, networking receptions, and more. The Salute Gala is a festive evening that honors and celebrates various groups throughout the WeBank network. The National Conference and Business Fair um, is always held in June, and that will be in Detroit, June 19th to 21st this year. It is the largest conference of its kind for women business owners in the US. The WeBank National Conference and Business Fair is attended by over 4,000 attendees. WBEs, senior executives and procurement representatives from the Fortune 500 and the US government, select partner organizations whose missions align with WeBank's vision of expanding women's business opportunities in the marketplace. With three days of robust programming, the conference features lectures and presentations from today's thought leaders, engaging panel discussions, one-on-one -on -one matchmaker sessions, networking receptions, and of course, the notable business fair. With both the Summit and Salute and National Conference and Business Fair, when you register before the early bird deadline, you will have the opportunity to produce, participate in the matchmaker meetings with WeBank national corporate members and a select number of regional corporate members. This is your opportunity to have a 20 minute session with the corporations as they select WBEs to meet with in areas where they have contracting opportunities. The student entrepreneurial uh, program fosters growth for the next generation of women owned businesses. Since its inception in 2008, nearly 200 students from 60 plus colleges and universities across the country have graduated from this program. Aspiring collegiate female entrepreneurs studying science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, or business receive mentoring from some of the most successful women's business enterprises and America's largest Fortune 500 companies, while also participating in a tailored entrepreneurial curriculum and a pitch competition, awarding $20,000 in seed capital and experiential learning. So with all of this pro these programs, there are a number of ways to get involved and there are a number of sponsorship opportunities as well. You can access these by going to the WeBank website, which is WBENC. Org. So this slide here summarizes a lot of ways to leverage your certification. I've already mentioned the procurement events, and of course, this is both the national, um, at WeBank, the WeBank level, and also the regional within uh, the WBDC footprint, um, and other opportunities to meet with corporate and government uh, representatives. These programs have varied formats, generally determined by the needs of the customers. Sometimes there are panels, sometimes networking, and sometimes more formal matchmakers. For instance, we always have a formal matchmaker um, at our September event in Chicago. Don't forget the value of networking with other and, and developing relationships with other WBEs. Whether as customers, partners, or mentors, these relationships can be professionally and personally rewarding. As part of our signature events, we recognize and, uh, leaders and supporters um, with awards each year. And we can also assist and support media exposure for you through social media. Let us know if you've received an award um, or some kind of recognition in your uh, community and we will share it widely on, on our social media platforms. Um, and as part of the WBDC's public relationship strategy, we do share our WBEs with news media from time to time when, they're, when the news media may be looking for a story about a particular topic. So here's a little bit more information on Insights, which I had mentioned earlier. Insights is the password protected online knowledge resource for WeBank certified WBEs and national corporate and government members that I mentioned before. 
WeBank certified WBEs can access information on industry forecasts, procurement trends, government contracting, and skill building. All WeBank certified WBEs may access by submitting um, your name, company name, telephone number, and title uh, in an email to insights at webank.org. So that's I-N-S-I-G-H-T-S -S at wbenc.org. That would be your name, your company name, your telephone number, and your title. As discussed earlier, the woman-owned campaign is for those WBEs who have uh, products that are consumer facing and the woman owned logo is an initiative to identify, to enable consumers rather, to identify those products supplied by women owned businesses during their shopping experience. WeBank has a dedicated website with an, ex an amazing amount of information uh, and we encourage you to access it and also to let us know if you have a product in the stores or a product that is consumer facing that you're trying to get into stores. The WeBank Network has a number of corporate members who have campaigns to include products with the women-owned logo, as I mentioned earlier. Act Intentionally is a WeBank campaign that enables us to show appreciation for our members. And by members, we mean the corporate partners who support both WeBank and uh, the regional organizations such as the Women's Business Development Center. It allows us to support those corporate members who are in the network. We can act intentionally when shopping, traveling, driving, seeking entertainment and venues, and more. And it's basically just put your dollars where your um, support is. WeBank is also very proud to offer the Dorothy B. B. Brothers Scholarship to its WBEs as an opportunity to receive up to $11,000 in tuition to attend some of the best executive education programs in the country, including those that WeBank offers, and TOC is one of them. So this is almost like a, like a mini MBA. It's not an actual MBA, but it's an executive level MBA program. It's a fabulous program, but it is also not, not cheap. Uh, and so the Dorothy B. Brothers Scholarship can help support um, someone's ability to take advantage of that. You can learn more about these resources on the WeBank website. Lastly, and this is brand new and coming later this year, the WeBank Energy Executive Program. So if you're in the energy industry, this is something that you're gonna to want to uh, stay tuned to learn more about. I think they're looking at a date in late October, early November for that. And it would be a week long program as well. The WBDC has a lot of programming and expertise to help you grow your business. So please do take advantage of these services. We're here to help you. One thing I want to highlight in particular is the merger acquisition and succession planning support down here. Restructuring, bringing in investors, or transferring ownership all will impact your certification. It may not matter to you today, but please put this in your head for future reference. When you get to the point where you're thinking about changing the structure or capitalization of your company, just let us know. Through confidential discussion and suggestions, we, can, we have been able to help WBEs maintain the control they need to stay certified while also positioning their companies for the future. The worst thing that you can do is just make those changes and send in your renewal and then you may not qualify anymore and then we're stuck and we have to deal with it all and it's much more difficult. It's much easier for you to just give us a call in advance and we talk through, uh, again, on a confidential basis, what you're trying to accomplish and we can make some suggestions. Last but not least, I wanna put in another plug for our online learning library. There are free videos and online on-demand courses that are available to you whenever you want them. Again, one of them will be uh, this, uh, a, a reprise, I guess you would say, of this webinar. So just go to wbdc.org, look in the events and training section and you'll find the e-learning library. So once you've started growing your business by leveraging your WBE certification, you may want to deepen your relationship with WeBank and the WBDC. The Women's Enterprise Forum, or people just call it the Forum, serves in an advisory capacity to the WeBank president and CEO and board of directors and assists in creating programming and networking opportunities that build and grow women business enterprises. 
The forum gives input and feedback on WeBank programs and other matters from WBEs. Participation in the forum offers opportunities for WBEs to represent the voice of all women businesses and engage in networking and developing development opportunities with other WBEs, member corporations, and government entities. The forum has an elected chair, first vice chair, and second vice chair who serve on the WeBank board of directors in addition. There's also a forum leadership team and forum representatives. The forum holds and hosts meetings in conjunction with WeBank national events and all certified WBEs are welcome and encouraged to attend. 14, one from each regional partner organization, exemplary women business leaders representing each of the, the RPOs are selected as WBE stars to receive the nation's premier award for excellence among women's, bus women's business enterprises among WBEs bestowed by WeBank at its annual summit and salute. The Legacy of Leaders program was established to create a strategic role for dedicated and successful corporate government and WBE leadership who demonstrate a deep commitment to the organization and who previously held leadership roles within the WeBank network. The leaders are committed to breaking down barriers for women-owned businesses in the supply chain and serve as advisors to WeBank in supporting the growth and success of all WBEs. Women of Distinction is the legacy of leaders represented by WBEs and Encore is the legacy of leaders represented by corporate and government leaders. At the regional level, there are a number of ways to get involved with the WBBC. WBEs may participate in our, our certification review committees, which we have in each of our major markets. Regardless of your location, we love to have WBE service site visitors. These roles require training, but as a site visitor, you have the opportunity to connect with other women business owners in your area. To help us out with outreach to additional WBEs and corporate members, um, we have regional ambassador and advisory committees in Chicago, Minneapolis, Milwaukee, St. Louis, and Kansas City. Some of our larger WBEs sponsor aspects of our regional events, which can raise your profile and grow your brand awareness. And of course, from time to time, we have programs or projects where your leadership can be valuable both to you and us. Thanks for participating in this webinar, and I hope you found it helpful. We are so pleased that you are part of our WBDC and WeBank family. As I mentioned before, this webinar is archived on our WBDC website in the e-learning library, so you can refer to it again if you'd like. I'm gonna leave the um, webinar open for just a few moments. So if people have questions, um, we haven't had any, but we I'd love to find out if anybody has anything and we'll let you uh, type them in. In the meantime, if you would like to reach out to me, um, privately or, or uh, something later. My email is kgoldner, K-G-O-L-D-N-E-R at wbdc.org. And my name is Karen Goldner. So I'm gonna just leave this open for another moment or two if people have questions. We really appreciate your time this afternoon. I guess it's this morning. Okay, I don't see any questions. So we're gonna say thank you very much and have a great afternoon.